Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a Google Chrome error that says there's not enough memory to open this page. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go and start by opening up the start menu. Just soft click on the start button one time. Type in advanced system settings. Best match, come back with view advanced system settings. Go ahead and left click on that option one time. Underneath the advanced tab and underneath performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory, left click on the settings button. And now left click on the advanced tab again up at the top of this page. And then underneath virtual memory, select the change button. Uncheck the box where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. And then select custom size. So I'd personally recommend trying one gigabyte at first. So one gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. So just do 1024 in both of these fields here for the initial and maximum size. If you ever want to go back and change it back to what it was default, you can always go back to the number. Just keep in mind what the number was here originally. And there's also recommended numbers down here as well. You can always bump it up a little bit. I haven't found too many difficulties or issues from bumping it up from this. It doesn't have to be this necessarily. Um, it's just as a matter of how much benefit you're getting after a certain point. And then if you ever want to just go back to letting your computer manage it yourself, you just check mark the box up here to automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So left click on OK. The changes you made will require you to restart your computer. Left click on OK again. Click on Apply and OK. Click on OK again. Close out of there. Which suggests restarting your computer once you've closed out of any open programs or applications. And that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.